We've just lost our first game in six, and there's worrying signs at the back. Hello, everyone, welcome to episode three of the Portsmouth Save on FM18. And, well, how, how else do I introduce it? It's time for the Checker Trade Trophy Southern Section Quarter Final. That's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? Against Peterborough, um, away from home at the Abak Stadium, which is happening now. And then we've got MK Dons in a few days, as you can see, in a real playoff match. As you can see, it's really close. Only four points between third and tenth, and it's just really close. Only played a few games since you were last with me, folks. I uh, played the Shrewsbury game, which we beat them 2-1. Really good game. Um, we beat them 2-1 there. Matt Clark and Chowdhury getting the goals. And then we lost to Doncaster 3-2. Brett Pittman and Adam Armstrong got the goals to put us 2 up. I'll explain about Armstrong in just a second. But then they came back, which gives some real worries about the defence. Now, Adam Armstrong wasn't here in the last episode. But we brought him in on loan from Newcastle. Um, with the intention maybe to buy him in the future. As you can see, he's better than anyone here at the moment. And he's already he's, he's only 20, so maybe Newcastle might want him back. That's a brilliant signing so far. So for the game against P uh, Posh today, uh, we're going to have McGee in goal. Or actually, no, we're going to... Mm, yeah, okay, it's fine. Uh, with Thompson, Watmore, Clark and Donahue. Donahue, yeah, at the back. Uh, May and O'Keefe start in the middle. With Lowe, Pittman, uh, Chaplin and then Armstrong up front. So here we go then for this episode of Portsmouth. It's a li little bit different, I suppose. Um, it's a lot different compared to the... Hensford save. It's uh, it's a weird one to play. This is this is Thursday night, um, so you know the weekend started by the time you guys are watching this, which is nice and pleasant. Um, but yeah, I hope you have enjoyed your week. I'm trying to think. My week's been decent, I suppose. Um, let's have a drink. Why not? Um, yeah, my week's been decent, I suppose. Nothing really to report this week. It was a bit hectic last week, um, but this week's been a lot less hectic, which is good. I'm happy to see that, but. And the chance we might get promoted this season, it would be really good if we can get promoted to the Championship. We might struggle a little bit because we haven't got anything in terms of transfer budget. Um, and seeing as a lot, a lot of our players are on loan, now include, including Armstrong, obviously, um, we've got real worries. But really, Armstrong, I thought, you know what, let's loan him for this season. He's just another striker that we can use. And if he scores, I don't know, 10, maybe even, maybe even 5 goals, every single goal matters. Um, and if we kind of, you know, if we didn't bring him in, basically, and we were one down in terms of... Um, Goal difference maybe to get promoted or playoffs or whatever, um, we would certainly regret. Now, Cardiff just had a really good chance for Peterborough. Um, this really isn't a competition we care about, but still, um, you know, it's just for pride, really. You know, everything helps, but uh, low. Ooh, Forrester gets that for Posh. It's lagging a little bit, my screens. I don't know if it's lagging for you, folks. I can only apologise for that, but McGee on the ball. Lovely ball out, but it goes straight back to the Posh player. Tavasoli, is that? I don't know. It's a straight... Over to Carnu and what more does get that? He's injured a little bit, but back to McGee, that's dangerous. O'Keefe, stupid ball. Shepard, Boymans, put it in to Carnu. I can't believe they're not scoring. Doherty has a shot, and it seems to be all posh at the moment. So what we're going to do is not be quite as direct um, and just make sure that we get stuff sorted at the back. If we're going crazy up front, now I can play a little bit more expressive with Portsmouth that I can with... Um, Hensford, because we Hensford really, we're just playing for draws at the moment. If you're not watching that series, by the way, I would recommend it. It's a real struggle at the moment. Um, not, be, mm, is it because of our management? Maybe you can make that judgment for yourself. Um, but we are really struggling. But in this save, it's quite nice because we're doing quite well. But it's still a challenge because we really want to get promoted this season. Wouldn't it be fantastic to take Portsmouth back to the second division and maybe even the Premier League? Who knows? Simply don't know what'll happen. Low, may. Look at both Pittman on uh, there on the left to low into the box for Armstrong and he scores. Adam Armstrong scores his second goal of his loan spell from Newcastle and uh, it's been brilliant this loan style so far. Two get uh, two goals in two games and technically speaking, um, well it's not technically it's just speaking generally. Uh, two goals, 104 minutes and that is lovely stuff. Lovely header from Adam Armstrong there and doing really well. Seems like um, he did come out on loan. Um, to Bolton in their league winning season. They didn't do too well. Um, you know, scored a few goals, but I suppose you've got to bear in mind he's not going to be a first teamer there. But I thought that was, that lead wasn't going to last too long. But in all fairness, I think it just went off the post. Can't quite remember what happened there. But McGee might have saved it. But if you go back about five seconds, you'll see all that happened in the picture there. But surprisingly, away from home, you could say, we've got more possession, which is brilliant to see. Um, but we've had less shots. But can we beat Peterborough? Um, I, I've never played the Checker Trade Trophy in game before, ever. Um, and obviously we're kind of like midway through. So we've got through the groups, I understand. Um, and now we obviously are playing posh. And I don't really know what anything else entails. Um, but if we can win the Czech Trade Trophy, you know what? Sure, I don't even know what um, what the benefits are. Because I can't, surely can't get Europa League or anything like that from it. 
Um, because the under 23s playing it, which shouldn't really make sense. And Armstrong adds a second. Brilliant stuff that sign has been Adam Armstrong proves that you don't have to spend a huge amount of money to uh, get a good sign. Good thing as well is that our uh, our mate at Newcastle, Rath Benitez, must just know I'm a Liverpool fan. Um, so he's given us that one for free. He's given us Armstrong completely free of charge in terms of wages. Um, so really, he's Newcastle's player. You know, we've just got him for free, which is fantastic. And uh, we're 2 0 up here. Saying that, though, we were 2 0 up against Doncaster last game, and we lost that game 3 2. Whisper it quietly, though. We don't know what's happening again here. Boymans. Doty. Ooh, that was close. Very close. Wow. Very, very close there. Uh, a bit more discipline, maybe, now, I think would be the right answer. Um, but if we can get free and up, you know, I'll be quite happy with that. O'Keefe. Pittman. Chaplin on the ball. Ooh, close. I think Shepard got. Uh, yeah, he got an interception. There we go. It's quite tricky to see from 2D, but then I don't want it lagging. I did go back and watch some of the Liverpool um, episodes, some of the early Liverpool episodes uh, the other day. And it's just clearly, uh, you know, a little bit laggy, I think it's fair to say. And I think we've come a long way since then. Um, hopefully you guys agree. And uh, I'm happy with that. You know, I'm happy that we've come a long way. I'm also happy with the scoreline here, you know. Um, that's not too shabby either. I'm trying to think of discussion points now. I can't really think of anything. Isn't that brilliant when you, you've recorded that many videos that you just can't think of anything to say? That is fantastic. But let's talk a little bit about promotion. Obviously, I've talked about that before. But if we can get up, that would be fantastic. However, maintaining the position in the championship would be a real struggle. I think that Lelujo also is managing Hensford. Uh, Hensford. Portsmouth is um, in the championship now. Obviously, a little bit more into the game compared to me. Um, but, yeah, he's in championship. So, hopefully... We're going to get a bit of a rivalry going, maybe, with Kev. Um, see if uh, we can beat him. But maybe, you know, if if one of us wins, the other one would argue that, well, you know, you didn't have as good a squad and, you know, all that nonsense because you can't really do... Oh, I'm just talking rubbish now. Anyway, Chettle, Forrester for them. And that's just gone over the ball. That's good to see. We're beating Pe Peterborough too little at home. And if you are watching Kev, I presume you're probably switched off by now because Peterborough are losing. But I doubt he is watching, but if he is, hello. Anyway, Brown, Chaplin, Brown again, lovely ball over, but Street clears that one out, Chaplin, Brown again, lovely ball to May, into Armstrong, and it's a hat-trick for Adam Armstrong, brilliant stuff, Adam Armstrong, on loan from Newcastle, four goals in two games, not too shabby, if I say so myself, and to be fair, I personally think the strikes at this club aren't great, the top striker is two and a half stars, okay, you can improve, but Armstrong is already three and a half stars. And if we could sign him or even get him on low next season, you know, he's only 20. Um, it depends where Newcastle are next season, you know. Um, you know, they could get relegated. I haven't looked at their position, but we're 4-0 up now. Unfortunately, um, Armstrong doesn't add to that, but 4-0. And I can drink my uh, summer fruit squash carefully. D don't worry about, you know, the fact it says Carlin on the bottom. It's, it's not Carlin, it's just a Carlin glass. That I've got squash and I'm going to wait for the camera to focus. There we go. You've seen it now. You know. Not really more to add. But uh, 10 minutes left then here at the Avex Stadium. And uh, we should just, should probably win it now, you'd think. You know, we probably make one more substitute. That would be wise. Um, but then Dennis wise. Why not? Um, and we'll take Low off, you know. Just applaud him for the work he's done. Or do we actually... Yes, we will take Armstrong off. I think that's fair enough. Just applaud him for the work he's done. Um, and bring Glaukovic into that position. And he should get a standing ovation from both sets of fans. Maybe not the posh fans, seeing as they're probably all left by now. But a really good game to start the episode today. And hopefully we can continue this form going into the game against the Dons. Uh, Muc Muc is it McDons? As they like to call them. I don't really care. Um, but anyway, I think we're at home in that next match. And I think it's a bit. I think I might be wrong, but I think it might be being televised. So, that's all interesting. Or it might be the game against Blackburn that's televised. And Lalkovic nearly adds a 5 as a false 9 there. But unfortunately, he can't quite do that. But I'm sure that won't add 24. I'll just notice the camera's a bit out. So, I'll move that. Probably not that it's made any difference. We win 4-0 in this game against the Posh. And that is absolutely fantastic. Brilliant stuff. Now, it's away from home the game against MK Dons. But uh, it's not been televised. That game was televised. That makes sense. But, uh, Jesus Christ... The Abex Stadium's clearly not that big. 14,000. Maybe it's in a protest against the Checker Trade Trophy. Only 2,000 there? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Because if you look, 
at the third round. There was only 2,000 there and only 2,000 at Plymouth as well. And only 1,700 at Portsmouth. I don't think the fans particularly like the Checker Trade Trophy. No change to the game against MK Dons. Honestly, I don't think you really can change this sort of squad. who's just battered um, that team there. The only change we'll actually make is bring Chowdhury in for Adam May. But let's just pretend that we haven't made any changes. You know, we haven't done any of that, have we? No, no, no. Absolutely not. Let's just get straight into it, shall we? Uh, brilliant game against Posh there. Fantastic stuff. Hopefully, we can follow that up against MK Dons. But I've got a sneaky feeling we probably won't. Uh, but if we do beat the MK Dons, I believe... Um, that we can go even one point to them. Uh, yeah, we can. That's right. Uh, so we'll be on 50 and they'll be on 51. As you can see, it's really close. With Rotherham, Fleetwood and Wigan all on 50 points. The great thing with the lower leagues is that all the teams play at the same time. So the table's really dynamic in terms of it moves. When anyone scores, for example, when Shrewsbury have just scored, they're now on 50 points. So four teams on 50 points. Can we add, make it five teams on 50 points? Chowdhury's Chaplin. Oh, unlucky there. Dean Lewington gets it back and nothing comes of it. That's a bit boring, isn't it? Warsaw have scored. Good old Warsaw FC, eh? Um, where are they? Ignore that. Uh, they're down in 17th. That's not good. But ignore that. You know, Lando scored. Blah, 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 blah. Um, let's just pretend that never happened. It's a bit naff, isn't it? A bit rubbish. But we've had more shots here. We should really um, be winning this game, you'd have thought. But if they get in a look, there's, there's real alarm bells good at the moment. Wilson. That's James Wilson. Ooh. Close. Close, close, close. Um, maybe don't dribble less. It's a bit of a stupid decision that was. Um, but yeah. Do all that fancy pants stuff. But let's, let's just gloss over the fact we're in 10th at the moment after this. You know, it could be all different in a minute. Oh dear. Say who's got it for them. To Wilson. I'll tell you what. They've got a good uh, squad here. James Wilson practically runs through the defence. What more gets it back? Come on, Armstrong. Win that. Unlucky. Walsh. He banks Landl. Williams, GB Williams apparently, Landl, Clark gets it back, oh what a stupid pass, Walsh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name, so, into Wilson, and what what does, what did I say, what did I say, you know, last time, I, I just felt it, I could feel it, as uh, Elvis said, and uh, if, you can, if you can get the song, you can uh, have a brownie or a cookie, whatever they call it, if uh, you can get it in the comments. But I'll tell you what, if, if someone has put way... Uh, way oh, I nearly said the song. If someone's put the song by Elvis Presley, as in, you know, insert song here, I'll be like, what the hell are you going on about? Then I'll be going, ah, uh, I've got, you know... Chowdhury. Shoots. Oh, unlucky. Williams gets it out. And I'd love Adam Armstrong to complete his 100% record, but it's not going too well today. Pittman. Okay, for Chaplin. Pittman again. Into Chowdhury. He shoots and he... He... he I don't know. Saves it and uh, puts it out to Walsh, but it's a bit precarious. You know, they've been a bit stupid with the ball. Walsh, Chowdhury, Armstrong. Loose the ball. He's been really poor today. Maybe a little bit cocky um, after that, you know, hat trick against Peterborough. Armstrong. Lovely ball to Pittman. He puts it in and he saves it once again. Ah, unbelievable. Seems this goalkeeper's really good at short distance. And that doesn't help when you've got corner kicks or else he puts it, unless he puts it out to the likes of. Chowdhury or Armstrong that are there. Like such, you know, okay. you're not really going get to get a goal if it's not on target. Let's face that. 42 minutes into the game, and we've had more shots. We've had less possession. Let's gloss over that. Um, and let's really shout at the players at half-time, because this is a bit rubbish. We can't go and beat someone in the checker trade blemming trophy 4-0 and then not bother in the league. It's a bit rubbish, isn't it? You know, the checker trade trophy ain't really going to do anything for us in the end. Um, no, I don't want to be more expressive. Just do all of that. Just get the ball up at the end of the day. Pittman. Into Armstrong. That'll do. That's a decent start for second half. That'll do, Donkey. Apparently it's his birthday today. Happy birthday, Adam. And his birthday is on the 10th of February. Day after mine. Hmm. Hint, hint, when my birthday is. But, uh, yeah, it'd be a birthday treat for me, I suppose, we can win this game. Lovely run from Pittman. Past the defenders. And Armstrong gets another headed goal again. And that's... Uh, 2-1, we're back into this game now. It'd be brilliant, I'll tell you what, it'd be fantastic if we can make it 2-2 two -two now. Lewington, okay, get the ball, please. Oh, God, Sao's got it. It's going to be 3-1, isn't it? <sighs> Off the bar. Maybe this is my lucky day. Maybe it is. O'Keefe. Pittman, we're going to lose it here, I just know it. Chowdhury. Yeah, said it. Paula, Wilson, come on, number five. Tackle him. Tackle him. Six oh, 16, can't even get it. Sao. 
Tashi Bowler, so... Come on! Honestly, it's so sloppy from our players. It's unbelievable. Um, we'll retain possession, but clear it to the flanks. Because we just can't do anything at the moment. We're being a bit pants, I think it's fair to say. Pants on fire. 40 minutes to go now in this match. And we've down to two goal deficit again. What more's injured? That's a real shame. Um, genuinely, I'm not joking. Um, Pittman's played really well. But we can play him like that, can't we? Uh, ball midfield on support. And you know what? No, ignore it. No, 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 ignore me. Uh, Lowe's playing really poorly, so we're not going to bother. <coughs> Apologies. Not going to bother with him. Bring Marcus Brown on to play in his position. But come on, lads, honestly. Sales injured, which is a bit good. And, well, clearly Peterborough aren't good at all. Because even Gillingham are beating them 5 on. So Peterborough, really in dire straits at the moment. I'm getting all the musical puns in today, aren't I? Jesus. Blackpool are winning um, league leaders. Rochdale are winning. So Fleetwood are dropping points as well as us, which is nice, I suppose. Not nice just for Fleetwood, but nice for the fact that, you know, we can have a bit of solace in the fact that uh, we aren't too bad. Anyway, come on. Come on. Eileen? Oh, God, I'm getting all the musical references in today. It's only because I'm really disgruntled about this game. Pittman? Chowdhury? Be a crucial guy if we can get one here. Kelly? Bit of a silly ball. Oh, well. Lovely ball. Armstrong? Back to O'Keefe. Armstrong once again. Chowdhury? Get it in. O'Keefe? Lalkovic? Stop passing it round. Brown gets the goal. Is it going to count? Is it offside? I knew it would be. Ah, Jesus. I, I just felt, it just felt like it wasn't a goal. Chowdhury. O'Keefe. And was it offside? Come on, VAR. Yeah, it's well off. Dear me, Brown. Instilling so much faith in us and then it didn't work. Anyway, Kelly. Pittman. Pittman would be Hensford. Uh, Somers Asante. Wilson, win it back. Nice. Thompson, just chuck it up, pal. Donoghue. Keep the ball, though. Lalkovic. Good stuff. Chowdhury. Pittman. Put it up for our striker. Oh, Lewington gets it. Nesbitt. <laughs> Chowdhury. Pittman. O'Keefe. Brown. Put it into the box. Lalkovic, get in there. One goal back. Come on, lads. Come on, boys. Come on. Come on, the Wenger boys. Right, let's just, you know, take all these instructions off. Who cares? Right, here we go then now. We've got 12 minutes. Can we get this goal and uh, get us back into the game? That would be brilliant. Let's just skip that highlight. We want to get it all, well, not all over and done with, but a bit of drama in this quick episode. Lalkovic into Brown. Armstrong. Oh, it's a goal! Adam Armstrong gets it in the back of the net. Oh, my God. That was quite dramatic. So, Adam Armstrong, within three games, got six goals. Not a bad sign if I say so myself. So what's happened here? Lalkovic put it into Brown. Armstrong got a header on. And um, Walsh missed the ball. But the goalkeeper simply didn't get to it. Can we win this game now? 86 minutes in. Anything happening? No. Oh, here we go. 88 minutes in. Ebags Landl. Paulet. We've got had the ball pen priority. And Ake. Nesbitt. Oh, thank God he's put that over the bar. Can we win this game? Come on, lads. Six minutes of added time. Anything going to come of it? I'm not going to go on overload. That should be stupid. I think that's going to be it, though. And to be quite honest, all factors given, I think that's a fair result. I think that... No way. Penalty. Naki steps up. You know, I said a fair result given all the circumstances. Well... That was wrong. Because, arguably, the whistle should have been blown. Dear me. Lalkovic on the attack. I don't think anything's going anything to come of it. And he's blown the whistle. I'm going to go and kill myself. Not really. Um, it was just one of them days today, I think. You know, to give away a penalty in the 96th minute is stupid. However, it doesn't really matter. Disappointing there, folks. But anyway, I've been TIJ. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'm going to be a bit depressed now. Leave your... Thumbs up just to uh, make me a little bit more happy. I'm sure it'll be all jolly because it's the weekend by this time tomorrow. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on Monday for another episode of the Portsmouth series. Leave a like to show your appreciation. And thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys on Monday. Goodbye.